What is up, you guys? That day is almost upon us. Emerald City Comic Con starts tomorrow. Really excited. I'm getting up at about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning to drive out. It's two or three hours away, plus a border crossing. So I know Travis uh, is going to be there. I haven't heard too many other YouTubers are going to be there, but really looking forward to it. There's just a lot of comic book talent there. So really excited. Um, what I have here is a few books. I'm going to maybe get signed or CGC'd or CBCS'd. Um, I've done videos like this before and I go and then it, the, the like CBC doesn't show up or CGC or whatever. So uh, hopefully this time I might actually get some books graded and I'll explain why uh, I chose those ones as I go. But So first of all, uh, some of the talent that's going to be there. Neil Adams is going to be there who I have never met. So... I have this Neil Adams book. I don't really want to spend all my money on signatures. And I know I'm getting um, Stan Lee, and that's like 60 bucks or something just for that. Um, so I know Neil Adams does charge a lot. And I don't have any books I really, really love that I would want him to sign, or at least not in like really great condition. I have uh, that Joker book. What is it? Batman 230 something. Um have that but it's in pretty mid low grade so I don't know how much I care about getting that signed. This is a nicer grade and I really like this cover. But if it's gonna be like fifty dollars or more I might just pass. Uh we'll see. Next Kevin Eastman who created the Ninja Turtles are gonna be there. So this is my Ninja Turtles micro series number one. This is the first appearance of Casey Jones and my earliest Turtles comic. So I think this is gonna be the one I get him to sign. It's in really nice grade so Happy to do that. Uh, Ryan Otley, who's been the artist on Invincible for a very long time, uh, since like I think the teens he started. Um, he's going to be there. I'm really excited to meet him. I have him on Twitter. He never responds to my tweets, so I don't know if he's a dick or what, but I um, uh, still want to meet him. He does like gore and violence and blood and guts and action really well, I think. So I thought this was a great issue for him because I think it really highlights his... Uh, art style in here there's a huge fight lots of blood and guts and stuff like that so I uh, figured that might be the one I go with there's a few sort of minor keys I could do like first appearance of villains and things like that but uh, I think this one kind of showcases his art so I, I figure it's the best also I do have uh, you guys tell me what you think because I do have invincible number one and it's signed by all the original creators now Ryan Otley isn't uh, one of the original creators but like I said he's been on since like 16 and it's like at 116 now so um, he has been around for a long long time is definitely a huge part of this series so maybe I'll bring that one to get it signed what do you guys think is that silly to get a book signed by somebody who didn't even do the art on it um, you understand the significance of it though so let me know um, Dan Parent of Archie fame is going to be there, so I figured I'd get my uh, Afterlife with Archie number one sign. That was like the original comics I read as a kid and everything. Uh, I probably should have had that in my four comic creator video, um, but I didn't even think of that. But he's going to be there, so I think I'm going to get my Afterlife with Archie signed. Uh, see what he thinks about the whole thing. I bet he loves it because he's bringing in the bacon from it all. Um, this is Batman and Robin, or All-Star Batman and Robin number 10. This is the swearing variant with Frank Quietly. Uh, so this is one I might get graded because it's a really high grade book. Now for grading, like it's not been anything I've ever really been that interested in. But my thinking is I have a few books that are just so high grade that I don't even want to open them up because I sort of am worried I'm going to bump it or ding it. I'm not the most careful guy all the time. So one, if it's that high grade, it sort of gives it that nice protective case. It displays well, and I can get all those books digitally as well. Uh, with this one especially, like I have another copy of this, plus I have uh, the regular cover too. So um, that one sort of just makes sense. But what I'd like to do is sort of get some of those really high grade books, CGC, to protect them from myself as well as have the nice grade there. So I have two of these and I don't know which one I would go for for CGC. This is Deadpool number one. So I just put the front and back and switch that around so you can see. So it sort of makes the wraparound cover there. But those are both pretty high grade. So I don't know if you can like talk to them or you just have to hand them to them and they take them. So I don't know if you can talk to them and say which one looks better to you. Um, but we'll see. This is uh, New Mutants uh, 87 for Spirits of Cable. Also like super high grade book. Uh, I've never opened it because it's so nice. Uh, Savage She-Hulk number one. 
Um, this is nice, but not as nice, but I figured I'd bring it anyways. This is probably like a nine point something. So this one I might pass on. Again, I gotta look at what the prices are and everything because I think some of the prices are based on the value of the book. So something like this might be a little more affordable and a better idea. So uh, I'll let you know as I go. All right, heavy hitter. This is my New Mutants 98, and this is just, I can hardly see anything wrong with it. If that, like there's sort of, there's so many corners where it's like, I don't know if they would ding you for what those are because it's just how the book was cut. But this is in really, really nice shape, so I figured I might get this one done. Uh, also have Saga signed by Brian K. Vaughn. And it, this one has a certificate of authenticity, so I don't know if that uh, is is counts for them as being authenticated or not, uh, but I'll find that out as well. Um, minor thing, Brian K. Vaughn sort of, I guess, took over this random company's Twitter account for like 16 hours yesterday, so he had a whole bunch of... Uh, really interesting tweets and he answered questions and stuff because he's like notoriously doesn't like social media and things like that so he's just a really smart witty fun guy so really cool he's reading through all his uh, responses to the questions and things uh, i'll leave a link at the bo uh, below of this video uh so you can look up that account and check it out if you want uh guardians of the galaxy number one this again super nice grade don't even want to open it plus i have the trade anyways uh, this is another signature. So Rick Remender is going to be there, who's just been so hot this year. Um, I'll probably get this signed. This is my Black Science number one, just the regular comer. This actually has water damage because I put it on a counter and it had water on it, which I didn't see. Uh, I don't know if you guys have kids or not. I find there's always water everywhere with kids. Like I'm always stepping in random puddles and on counters and everywhere. You don't even know where it comes from. It's just, it's always being poured out all over the place. Maybe it's just we have crappy cups. I don't know. But uh, this is slightly water damaged. That sucks. But I'll probably still get it signed by Remender. Um, so I think the both the rightist and artists are going to be there for five ghosts. So that's uh, Barber, Barbier and Mooneyham. So I think they're both going to go there. Oh, there's a woman back there. What? She's creeping out from the couch. Uh, so they're going to be there. So I'll probably get this. This is my... Uh, uh, ghost variant cover for five ghosts number one. So I'll probably get that sign. Uh, sheltered number one. Uh, I have this already signed by Ed Brisson. He's like a local guy anyways. And uh, oh, I forget his first name. Christmas. Something Christmas. Lloyd. Lloyd Christmas. Um, no, but I'm going to try and get that signed by them. Uh, and friends of friends of mine are like buddies with him and these guys and stuff. So who knows? I may even get to hang out with some of them one night. We'll see. All right, this is uh, obviously Amazing Spider-Man 300. Again, one I just can't see any flaws on it. Uh, I've looked through it really closely and can't find anything. So figure this one would be worth it. Could hopefully get a 9.6 or 9.8 if I'm desperately lucky. Uh, we will see. Uh, now this is a book I have. This is Amazing Spider-Man 301. So what I've been doing with this book is anyone who I go to a con and I see who's worked uh, somewhat extensively on Amazing Spider-Man, I will try to get them to sign it. So I got Mike McCone here and I got Randy Emberlin, who's a big part of creating Carnage and stuff. So I am think I'm going to get Stan Lee to sign this one. Um, it's probably not the best idea in terms of like bang for your buck. Like it won't really put the value of this book up. But this is something like over the years as I go to cons and things like that, I'm really looking forward to sort of having a nice, all the major guys, uh, creators and stuff and who've worked on Amazing Spider-Man be on there. Umberto Ramos is always going to be there. I'm not a huge Umberto Ra Ramos fan, but uh, he's fine. Like, I don't mind his style occasionally. And, uh, you know, you can't argue that he's been a big, big part of Amazing Spider-Man. So I think I'm going to get him on there as well. Okay, so this one I mentioned before, Batman 251, not 231. Uh, so yeah, this is that... Uh, Neil Adams cover, super famous, sort of return of the modern evil Joker, and it's sort of a lower grade book. It's not terrible, well, but you can, I don't know if you can see, there's just a lot of creasing and stuff, so maybe get that one signed, because this is the cover I really like the best of Neil Adams, it's my favorite Neil Adams cover, uh, but I'd rather have a higher grade one there. Maybe I'll find one there for an okay price, we'll see. And lastly, this is my other copy, actually I think this is my slightly better copy, look at that reflection. Um, of Batman and Robin number 10. Like I said, I had two of them, so I'm just going to bring both of them. 
and take a closer look when I get there at which one is better. So yeah, that is sort of the books I've pulled out so far. Also, Charles Soule is going to be there, so I might bring a Swamp Thing book for him to sign. Um, who else? i got a whole big list of everybody who's going to be there. Lots of really great talent and stuff. Um, so really stoked. This is uh, I've been to the Vancouver Fan Expo. Uh, but the thing with the Emerald City Comic Con, I think I saw an interview with Jerry Dugan, who writes on Deadpool. He was just saying, you know, the creators, they really like Emerald City. And it's one where they, like, it's way more comics focused. There's just a lot of great creators who come out there. Where sort of San Diego is more the celebrity focus now. Vancouver Fan Expo is sort of like that too. There's some comics, but it's more based around celebrity and stuff. So this is just so much talent. So I'm really stoked to meet some of these guys. Uh, I got a GoPro camera had it for a while. I've been sort of messing around with it. But um, I'm going to go Greco Fabulous style and hopefully have it on my bag there and get some footage while I'm rolling through. Maybe do some interviews or something like that. Uh, we'll see. So really excited to see what turns out with that. Um, yeah, be tweeting throughout the thing and maybe even uploading videos and stuff at night. So keep your eye out and yeah, wish me luck guys. So Thanks so much for watching and we will see you soon, hopefully tomorrow.